llamo Samuel. Today we're here in uh, Barcelona. And uh, one of the tips that I try to tell people when you're traveling is avoid the trendy places like H&M, McDonald's, Burger King, uh, the Harley Davidson store, Hard Rock Cafe, because it's a globalized market, the world is flat, you can go to any of these places in any major city in the world. Do something authentic to the city. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go see La Sagrada Familia Cathedral, we're going to eat paella next to the Mediterranean Sea, and uh, just really take in the authentic culture. Um, don't waste your time shopping all day, you can do that at home. So let's go check out Barcelona. One of the questions I get a lot is, is it easy to get money in Europe? Is it easy to exchange money? Is it easy to find ATMs? If you're in any major city in Western Europe, you're going to be able to find an ATM anywhere on the street. Um, you should get large sums of money, because usually your bank is going to charge you uh, a fee, an exchange rate fee. But no matter what, it's always better than exchanging paper money. Don't exchange paper money. Don't use traveler's checks. That's for news. Okay? ATM, the four-digit pen, and the Visa or MasterCard logo is the best way to go. <laughs> We're going to be moving from Clot to Catalonia. But you want to keep in mind your direction of the ultimate destination is right here. So this is going to be the name of the line. Right? Otherwise, you're going to be going the opposite direction to Fonda. So all you really need to know is the direction that you're going and the stop that you want to get off on. And pretty much all of the subways or metros, tubes that I've ever been to work the same exact way, whether you're in Asia or Europe. So just know the direction you're going in, the line you want to be on, and the stop you want to be on. It's pretty easy. Right. Another common question that we get from student travelers is, what do we do in our free time? And for a lot of the students, it's their first time free in a major city. Uh, we want them to be safe, but we want them to have a good time. And one of the things that you can do to accomplish both is to do an open-air bus tour throughout the city. You pay a set fee, in this case 23 euros, you get your headphones, you get some coupons, you get some maps, and they're going to drive you all over the city. You can get off at any point that you want, get back on at any point that you want for the entire day. It's a great way to see the city and to keep the kids in a safe situation. All right, so we finally made our way to La Rambla, and uh, this is um, authentic Spanish seafood paella. Uh, if you're coming to Spain, you've got to eat the authentic food here. The cuisine is excellent. It's one of my favorite things about international travel is trying the food. I also get a lot of questions about traveling in a world where we have a lot of political conflicts. Um, for example, Libya, right across the Mediterranean here, uh, has a dictator that's killing his own people. Um, they're in political and social turmoil. But most of the people that are afraid to travel haven't done much of it. Because once you start traveling and seeing beautiful places, you'll no longer allow ignorance and fear to keep you from seeing something beautiful. Okay, the final tip for this episode is that this is a tour, not a vacation. So when it's all said and done, you want your kids to look like this. If you want to be tired, that just shows you've had a good time and successful tour. We'll have more tips in future episodes. Thanks.